What is up my geeks and peeps, my ducks and pucks, and my little karate ads? It is me, Video President 102, and today we're gonna do something a little bit like, not what I do, but it's still what I do, but also not what I do. I'm gonna be looking back in a journal I wrote when I was seven years old, and when I was in second grade, I was obsessed with writing stories, and I kind of finished up the whole journal within the year, and I was so proud of myself. And from what I can remember, the, the stories were actually kind of clever. Like, my drawing skills were, of course, very bad, but, like, my writing skills as a second grader were pretty high. Um, let's see if I still think that, now that it's six years later. <laughs> so, if you like it, please like the like button, <laughs> subscribe, and if you can, donate to Hope From Home. Link in the description, you have till May 1st to do that. It'll help get supplies for nurses across the globe or USA, I forgot where the limit is. It'll also give us, like, maybe a chance to find a cure for Voldemort, so if you can, do that. But, if you can't, on with the video. First off, look at that cover. It's like a rainbow gradient with peace signs. This literally is my life right here. Rainbow gradient, peace signs, and it's kind of holographic, so... Yeah, it's kind of torn up at the bottom, but you'd suspect that from a six-year-old notebook. We open the first page, and these stories are made by me. Um, Fly Boy and Fly Girl, Fly High. These were superhero characters I made when I wanted to make a comic book, but then it turned out being really bad. Chapter 1, Fly Girl. What? I forgot how to... I didn't know how to put quotations, so that's them talking back and forth. Fly girl, what? There's trouble, let's fly high into the sky. Okay, okay already. Said fly girl. Look at the way I spelled ready. R-E-T-Y. <laughs> Retty. Said fly girl, let's put on our instead of O-U-R. I put an extra E in there, so it's our E. Ow, ow, er, e, er, no, there's no E at the end. It's R. I, I'm going to stop. You, you, let's put on our uniforms. <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I did. Let's go. Ready, set, go. Let's fly high, the boat said. Said, you did, I did. Then... They flew and t looked for Andy. Andy tells them what is happening. There he is, said Fly Girl. Oh my god, look at my second grade drawing skills. I need help. I need so much help. Someone help me. Please, please someone help me. Oh wow, okay. Then he said, Peace Y is on the loose. We will get him. And I tried spelling him with an E, but then I replaced it with an I. Great, said Andy. He is at the library. What's that? Library in a books. I'm guessing this is books. Books that are all about peace signs. Oh my god. When I was in second grade, I was obsessed with peace signs. If you can't, you know, tell by this, um... Where was I? All right. Andy said, and then when I put in all caps, it means they were yelling, up, up, and away, they said together. We are here to save the day. Well, hurry. Yep, well, hurry. 10 out of 10 grammar. People make fun of me for my grammar today. Oh, they should have seen this. Well, they are if they watch my channel. Okay. Okay, okay, already. I spell ready correctly here. <laughs> they said together. They went to the library, and then he stole the books, and they, and they didn't get him. Dang it, they didn't get him from the library. Look at that sun, though. <laughs> that sun is definitely high home. What's Fly Girl saying? Well, we are here. Well, no doubt. No doubt you're there. I will be at the supermarket, Fly Babies. Get back here, sewer baby. Fly boy said mad. Let's fly to the supermarket. Spell with two O's. I'll never get over my handwriting. 
market, said Fly Girl. They sprang to the supermarket. He sold peace. Food, <laughs> said a creeped up v- vast. V- vos? <laughs> I don't know. What is that? said Fly Girl. I do not know. Then it was the bad guy. <laughs> he went to a school called Nudewood, Nudwood Elementary. That's spelling of elementary, though. That's spelling. He is. He is what? He is robbing. He is robbing the teachers or something like that. The supermarket. Food. Supermarket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even right now. I can't. How come the butterfly is like two times the size of the people? What? Oh, God. And the salt looks like it's hurtling towards Earth. Why is that? What? I, I confuse myself all the time. And when they searched in all the classrooms, the teachers were gone. Teachers with an apostrophe, because that apostrophe is so needed. And the bad... And the bad guy was in the cafeteria. Once again, spelling of cafeteria. That's just... Eh. Get back now, bad guy monster. Ha, don't call me that, said the bad guy. The good guys won, and the food with a W, no, and the flu with the bad guy, oh yeah, they flew the bad guy to jail. The end. And the funny thing is, and, and oh my gosh, I keep saying that. Things. The funny thing with back in elementary school, the, maybe this is, is this the last page? Oh yeah, um, this is the last page. What I always did at, is I hid the end somewhere on the page. When I read the story out loud, I had someone um, raise their hand to find the word the end. And sometimes my second grade teacher would even give them candy for finding the end. Like, my teacher was very supportive of me writing. My classmates weren't. They were so annoyed at me doing this. And here we go. Fly boy and fly girl to um, putty. I don't know what that means. Oh, who is that? Oh, yeah. It, it's Buddy. Like, their little Buddy. Okay, I remember. That's supposed to be Buddy, not Putty. Okay, I'm not going to show all the Fly Boy and Fly Girl stories because that'd take forever. And if you're wondering why I'm holding it down, it's because there's a flap here and it keeps poking up. But this is the Legend of Pumpkinhead. Scary stick figure. Okay. Um, the legend says that the pumpkin head is real with two L's. But some don't think it is. They say he comes out at night before Halloween. He sips, he spies on you and your dreams. Oh, maybe spies. It spies. He spies on you and your dreams. He finds out that you are scared or not. If you are scared, he says, do not. Then he gives you some brave and heads off to the nether place. No, it's another place. Okay, not nether. It's not Minecraft. Okay, good. And this is a story about me writing in second grade, thinking I have a legacy. This is a part where I was just pumping out random videos. I mean, not videos. uh, Stories and... Okay, here's a good one. Uh, there was an old lady who swallowed a spoon. So, uh, some context. I was extremely scared of the There Was an Old Lady series back in elementary school. Cause you know, like, those giant books that fold out and the teachers have to spread their arms like eagle wings to just hold the book up to show the kids? Yeah, There Was an Old Lady was one of those books. And every time my teacher tried to read a book, I got scared because... I got scared that the girl 
who ate all the animals would eat me, because if she could swallow a horse, she could swallow a kindergartner. I mean, that's a pretty good fear. Okay, um, apparently the whole se a whole sentence is um, scratched out, but th I think that's because I don't know why I scratched it out. But this is, th um, after writing this, my second grade teacher actually sent me up to the principal's office to read it to her because it was quote-unquote so good. And then, um, I got a pencil. I got a pencil for reading my story to the principal. 10 out of 10. Okay. There was an old lady who swallowed a spoon. I don't know why she swallowed a, f a spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There was an old lady who swallowed a fork. I don't know why she swallowed a fork. Perhaps she'll... Oh. I don't know why she swallowed a fork. She swallowed... Oh, no. There was an old lady who swallowed a spoon. I don't know why she swallowed a spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There was an old lady who swallowed a fork. I don't know why she swallowed a fork. She was a dork when she swallowed the fork. She swallowed the fork to go with the spoon. I don't know why she swallowed a spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There was an old lady who swallowed a knife. Oh, gosh. I was alive when she swallowed the knife. She swallowed the knife to catch the fork. She swallowed the fork to go with the spoon. I don't know why she swallowed the spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There was an old lady who swallowed a plate. She didn't rule the state when she swallowed that plate. She swallowed the plate, plate to rule with the knife. She swallowed the knife to catch the fork. She swallowed the fork to go with the spoon. I don't know why she swallowed the spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There wasn't a lady who swallowed a cake. Okay, that's normal. She didn't shake when she swallowed the cake. She swallowed the cake to put on the plate. She swallowed the plate to go to rule with the knife. She swallowed the knife to catch the fork. She swallowed the fork to go with the spoon. I don't know why she swallowed the spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. There wasn't a lady who swallowed a tables. Yep, she swallowed a tables. Yep. She swallowed the table to hold the cake. She swallowed the cake to go on the plate. She swallowed the plate to rule with the knife. She swallowed the knife to catch the fork. She swallowed the fork to go she swallowed the spoon. I don't know why she swallowed the spoon. Perhaps she'll jump to the moon. She felt something in her knee. And boing, she jumped to the moon. Happy birthday, the end. Because she was hosting a birthday party for her dog on the moon. The logic of a seven-year-old. So back in second grade, my second grade teacher was obsessed with sock monkeys. So I made one called Sock Monkey Fight for Talent. He has a whole bunch of letters, and he's saying, which should I go to? This is a sock monkey. Yep. This is a sock monkey. Okay. Um. One day, sock monkey was watching TV. Oh my god, no one cares. One day, sock monkey was watching TV, and the mailman came and said, Ten letters for sock monkey. Oh boy, said sock monkey. But all the letters were for a movie all in one day at the same time, said Sock Monkey. Monkey, please come to the movie called The Ice and the Snow Blows, starring Sock Monkey. Oh no, how can I go to ten shows at the same time? I know, I will make nine more Sock Monkeys. So he asked Frog if he could give him ten lily pads. Okay, so... In the Sock Monkey like book series that we read in class, he had the friend. He had friend. I th there was a frog, a pig, and I want to say the other one was a kangaroo. I know I include all three friends on this thing. It was no, it was a frog, a pig, and a bunny. Maybe there was another one. I don't know, but they're all on this page. That's for sure. So, just to explain, in the book, Sock Monkey did have friends. Okay. I know. I will make more Sock Monkeys. So he asked. So he asked Frog if he could give him ten lily pads, and Frog did. Then he asked Bunny if he could give him some cotton, and Bunny did. He asked Blue Pig if he can give him some buttons. He gave him twenty. Then he finally asked Sock bu Buddy. Oh yes, yeah, Sock Bunny w Buddy was a uh, second sock monkey in their universe, which is kind of what I base the story off of. Yes, yeah, Sock Buddy. Where was I? Buddy, if he could give him some socks. He gave him 30. So we made sack monkeys and named them Charlotte with an S, 2 Diego, 3 Faith, 4 Bob, 
five Bobby, six William, seven Larry, eight Daddy. It says Daddy, but I meant probably meant Daddy. Nine Love, Love, Lovely, Lovey. I think it's Lovey. And ten Steve. <laughs> yep, Steve. Why am I not showing you guys? I'm sorry. Ten Steve. I love these names. He went to the theater. The others went to other theaters. The monkeys had a blast. They loved their new home and their owner, Sock Monkey. The end. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to show you guys this picture. And I want you to try looking at it without cringing. Look at this. Okay. So, of course, my hidden the end is up here. With Lovey, William, and Daddy out on the slide. Now, I drew a pretty good slide for a second grader. It's the only thing I could draw. Sock monkey's out the window waving for some reason. Why is there two windows and why are they on top of each other? Here's Faith, Charlotte, Bob, Bobby, Diego, and Larry. <laughs> Someone help me, please. And I'm just going to flip through and get to the last um, thing I want to read to you guys. Okay, here's the last story for today. Who took my favorite holiday glasses? And I drew them with my special colorful, um, colorful pen that I got from the book fair. So I actually made this a chapter book. It took me 20 pages to write this. But I guess I should explain. I have a table of contents on the order here chap with chapter six and about 20 pages yep 20 pages and then i wrote this chapter about losing the glasses and then they went to go look for the glasses and i do that for some reason and i hearted all the pages because i was dedicated to write 20 pages worth of story as a little second grader and then he he put up a a sign looking for the glasses Basically, the whole premise of how special these glasses were, they weren't, like, prescription or anything. He didn't need them to see. But what happened was he had to, like, intertwine the lenses so that these stars could be hearts and, like, candy canes and Christmas trees and presents and a turkey and hearts. So, basically, you could intertwine them with different shapes for, like, different holidays and different occasions. So, that's why they were so special and that's why he was freaking out about how he lost them. And here is a demented person. Because I know there's one picture in here I really want to, like, show you guys. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, he was going to Walmart with his best friend. And this was also when I was obsessed with Minecraft back when in second grade. This was, like, Minecraft was a new game. So, they're here driving to Walmart, and they're getting Minecraft toys. Then over here, they're drawing posters so that people would turn the glasses if they found them now notice how i'm drawing the guy with regular hair and nothing in his hair this is them playing a board game him and his friend see i can never get heads right so i ended up like tracing over the heads to make the heads bigger and it always sucked so then over here this is them in a minecraft store i guess i kind of forgot i read over the story before i recorded but this was them in a minecraft store And I think this is them with the glasses. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't really care at this point. You keep slipping through the pages. And this is, okay, so funny story. Okay, here, so you guys could find the the end yourself. Whoever puts in the comments first will get a shout out in my next video. Find the the end. <laughs> anyway, so guess how the story ends. You know how earlier I pointed out there was nothing in his hair? Is because he found the glasses on his head. Like, you know how you're like your dumb mom, like, go, head wears glasses, but then she goes searching around for them, even though they're on the top of her head, and you have to go, hey, they're on top of your head. Well, this guy went through two weeks of school, saw, like, multiple people that he asked where his glasses were, and described them, and had pictures of them. They're like, nope, I don't see him. Nope, I don't see him. But the whole time, from sleep to school to showers, they were, they were on his head the whole time. Yeah, I'm kind of stupid. And then this is another story I started, but then it ended up being stupid, so I kind of just gave up and used the last couple pages to do whatever. And then I had, like, people 
sign the book on the last day. And then... So that is atrocious. If you... Let me know if you guys want me to, like, read more of my stories in here. Because that was just the beginning. I just showed you guys the important ones. I could show you guys some of the cruddy ones. Was, trust me, there's a lot more. That is it for today. Let me know in the comments below how long it took you to start cringing. It, it, it literally... I was cringing before I even started the video. I knew that it would be bad. Just... Yeah. It, it was bad. It, it was bad. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, hit that bell, like the video, do all the YouTube things. Um, um, down below in the description there is a link to donate to Hope From Home. There is a link to all my social medias that I could possibly think of, and they're just all down there. They're sitting there waiting for you to go check them out, so if you can, do that. Hands like always, do your best.